can lead their lives, whether it's in, the, in school or at home or at play, lead their lives free from bullying. Our society, the strength of our society, is based on mutual respect and that's something that must be extended to all of our children and indeed all Australians. Would you make the Liberal backbenchers threatening to launch? Prime Minister, sorry. will you go to an election before handing down the budget? Uh, the, I know there's a... I know and I understand uh, that there is a continuing interest in the date of the election. Um, the, uh, you should expect... Uh, I'm certainly expecting the election to be held in the normal time, which is in uh, August, September, October. I think uh, the general... Uh, rubric is uh, before or after the footy finals, but that's the usual timing. That's, that's what you should expect. Is that you really had a double dissolution election uh, the, 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 it is, I'm saying to you that is what I'm expecting. Uh, obviously, there are other options available, but my expectation is that the election will be held at the normal time. Will there be a tax statement before the budget? I'm sorry? Will there be a tax statement before the budget? Well, we... The, we will be releasing statements of policy uh, in the lead-up to the budget uh, on a range of issues. Uh, as, well, as you saw, most uh, notably yesterday, the Defence White Paper. So uh, the, the process of policy development and reform uh, is ongoing. This is a reforming government. As you've seen already, we are proposing uh, to the Parliament legislation which will reform the way the Senate is elected to ensure that voters choose uh, where their preferences go, not backroom deals uh, between uh, political parties. So this is a reforming government and as we conclude our deliberations on particular topics, uh, we'll present them for the consideration of the people. What do you make of Liberal backbenchers? I'm, I'm sorry. Just sorry, have you asked Dr Parkinson to take over the, the tax policy formulation process and is that a sign that you've lost confidence in what the Treasurer was doing? Uh, well, let me, let me deal with two things. The Treasurer has my complete confidence, as do all of my Ministers, number one. Number two, uh, the consideration of, uh, of tax policy and of uh, changes to the taxation system are obviously involving a, a, a number of departments, the Treasury principally, my own department, with which Dr Parkinson is the Secretary, the Department of Finance, the Department of Social Security, right across the board. So it is a whole of government effort. So yes, Dr Parkinson is, um, is closely involved, as indeed is the Secretary of Treasury, as indeed is the Treasurer, as indeed I am, as indeed are all the Ministers. You know, this is, uh, let me state this again, it's important to remember, uh, I am leading a Cabinet Government. We consider these issues carefully. We work them through, we analyse them carefully, just as we did the Defence White Paper. The tax matters will be considered carefully by the Expenditure Review Committee, then they'll be considered by the Cabinet. Uh, you only have to look at uh, the uh, Labor Party's uh, uh, recent pronouncements on tax and the damage that, they, that will do to the value of every home in Australia to see what happens when you rush out tax policies without thinking through the consequences. Well, Prime Minister, what, what do you... What is there for Australia under the uh, ceasefire in, in Syria that President Obama announced this morning? Well, the Australia has a... Australia, as you know, is supporting the coalition effort in, uh, in both in Iraq and in Syria, and naturally we are very strongly supportive. We as, uh, gave a speech touching on this not so long ago in Washington. We are very strongly supportive of uh, a political settlement. Indeed, I think it, it is, it's, it's well accepted and well understood that the, uh, the, the solution to the conflict in Syria has to involve a political resolution. Last Prime question. Minister, what do you make of Liberal backbenchers threatening to launch a public campaign as early as next week against the changes to negative gearing that you're considering? Well, the, there, there are a whole range of issues being considered by us uh, in the context of the review of tax, uh, as you would expect. Uh, and, and all of them, by the way, are interrelated. They're, they have to be looked at in a comprehensive way. Uh, we're considering them very carefully. Um, everybody has a view. I imagine everyone here has a view. Probably some people have different views uh, at different times. Uh, so we're taking that all into account. 
um, we're considering it very carefully. And I just, I just leave you with this, with this uh, important point to reflect on. If you want an alternative way to develop tax policy, look at what the Labor Party has done. They are proposing a change uh, to, tri to treatment of uh, uh, net rental losses, uh, negative gearing, uh, which will have the consequence of undermining the value of every Australian home. That appears to be their goal. What impact does that have on the economy? It clearly undermines confidence, undermines families' willingness to spend uh, or to invest. It's perfectly obvious that Labor didn't think those consequences through. Their policy is riddled with contradictions. Uh, you know, they want to pull investors out of the established, uh, the established property market and funnel them all into new houses, into new developments. Uh, the contradiction in that, the disruption, is obvious. Uh, they have not thought through this issue. Now, uh, we are not going to take a leaf out of Labor's book. Uh, in that regard. What we are going to do is consider all of these issues very carefully, look at the consequences very carefully, and then when we have concluded our deliberations, we'll present them uh, to the people, to the public, and in due course we will take them to the election. So on that note, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you. The Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull speaking in Canberra.